Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to load up Zoom on your Mac as a client and schedule a meeting. So we're just going to go down to Zoom which we've downloaded as a client. So let's go to Zoom. Uh, Zoom is connecting and it will log us in as our account. So we've already got it preset up to automatically log us in. So we're going to now schedule a meeting. So if you go to this function here, you can schedule a meeting. So let's click on that and we're going to do a test meeting. On our test meeting, we're going to schedule it for a certain date and time. So let's do Monday the 8th at 1 o'clock till half 1. We want to generate an automatic ID because we don't want to use our personal ID. We can set a password if we want to, but we're going to turn password settings off. We're going to allow host video our part and participant video. We're also going to allow telephone and computer audio. We're going to set it up via the Outlook Kinder. You can set this up via any kind of you use, but because this account is registered to an Outlook account, we're going to use Outlook. And this drop down menu here in advanced settings, you can enable a waiting room, you can join before host, you can mute participants on entry, also sign in to Zoom or automatically record meeting. Now we don't want to, we want to enable the waiting room. So when our guests join, we can put them in a waiting room, we can then omit individuals to the call as and when we feel necessary so if there's a main speaker we can admit them first and check all their technical sides working fine and then we can admit everyone else we're going to automatically record the meeting too to the local drive this is our local computer not to the cloud we will do the cloud in a separate video and press schedule when we schedule this meeting, because we selected Outlook, it automatically boots up Outlook and allows us to send our link to our designated people. So what I tend to do is I tend to remove all the settings here and then remove that and then send that meeting request to a member or staff or a friend or family. You can use Zoom not just for a meeting, but you can use Zoom for screen sharing, for games or for quiz nights or anything like that. All you've got to do is press invite and then you can start typing in the top bar here anyone's address you want. You can send it to as many people as you want and this Zoom account has up to 300, uh, up to 100 participants for 24 hours. Now Zoom runs on separate accounts please see our previous video on Zoom account information. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.